A former uh, Houston Tillerson student is suing the university after she says that she was raped by a campus security guard. KXAN crime reporter Jacqueline Powell spent the day pushing the school for answers on what steps they have taken since she reported this attack. In this lawsuit, a young woman says as a 17-year-old freshman at Houston Tillotson, she was baited and then raped by a man who was supposed to be protecting students. At the time, July of last year, the school was paying private security company G4S Secure Solutions to guard its campus. The lawsuit claims one security officer began making flirtatious comments to the young woman and eventually asked her if she'd like to smoke weed for the first time. She agreed to that, but the suit says when she got in his car thinking she'd smoke with him, he drove her off campus, then forced himself on her in the back seat. The lawsuit says the teenager was crying, telling him no and stop, and it claims that he threatened to hurt her or her parents if she blew what happened out of proportion. She called 911 right after and went to the hospital. I was told that no one from the university would talk to us on camera and that they wouldn't comment on open litigation, but a spokeswoman from the university did tell me that shortly after this incident was reported, they went ahead and severed ties with G4S. She says that their contract was coming up soon, so when this was reported, it was a clear choice to go ahead and move forward with a different security company. G4S Secure Solutions wouldn't comment. The Austin Police Department would only tell us prosecution was denied and the case was closed. This lawsuit is seeking more than a million dollars in damages from Houston Tillotson and G4S. Jacqueline Powell, KXAN News. If G4S Secure Solutions sounds familiar, it's the same company that employed the Pulse nightclub shooter. He killed 49 people in Orlando, Florida two years ago. A mother of one of the victims is suing the company, accusing it of ignoring warning signs that the shooter was unfit to be a security guard.